It's Kat from knitcatpaddywhack.com. I'm back with another beginner knitting tutorial. So my last two videos showed you how to do how to cast on your stitches in two different ways. I showed you the backwards loop cast on and the cable cast on. And today I'm going to show you how to do the knit stitch. Um, so really this is where we get into proper knitting. So uh, if you're new to knitting completely, there are two um, stitches in knitting that are basic stitches and that is the knit stitch and the purl stitch. The knit stitch I think is the easiest one to work um, and the purl stitch is um, kind of the reverse of a knit stitch um, and it's a little tiny bit more complicated it's, just, it's not complicated but it's a tiny bit more complicated than the knit stitch so this video I thought I would start with the knit stitch so I'm assuming that you know how to cast on stitches uh, which is essential for uh, being able to start knitting so I will link in the description below my two videos on how to cast on um, and for this tutorial I'm using just a very basic plain acrylic 8 ply or double knitting yarn and I'm using 3.75 millimeter needles which is a UK 9 and I think it's a US 5 um, but uh, for most people, for the average knitter, you might, you probably w want to go for a four millimeter um, needle. Um, so I have cast on fifteen stitches here, and let's get started learning the knit stitch. So I am right-handed. So when I say right hand, um, if you are left-handed, assume that I'm swapping it. I know you're probably used to that, but um, just for ease of explanation when I say right hand I mean your dominant hand left hand I mean your not dominant hand um, so we're going to hold our empty needle in our right hand and the needle which has it, our cast on stitches in our left hand to start off with we have this little spine of knitting so spine of yarn most cast ons will have this sort of what I'll call a spine here um, this is the cable cast on which I showed you in my last video, just if you're wondering. So this spine needs to face away from you. Now there are four main steps to doing the knit stitch. So I will go through them slowly for you. So we take our right hand needle, we're going to place it underneath our topmost stitch, which is when I say stitch, I mean these bars of yarn on our needle. So I'm going to place my right hand needle underneath the top stitch. I'm going to poke it up through the stitch upwards at an angle so that it comes out behind the left hand needle. So I'll show you how I do that. Just like that. And you can see the the spine of yarn which is facing away um, isn't really involved I'm not poking through that spine of yarn so I've got my right hand I've got my right hand needle poked up through the top stitch now I'm going to take my working yarn which you can hold in either hand um, but I hold it in my left hand I'm going to pass that up over the right hand needle just once upwards if you pass it uh, from the back up around then that will give you a twisted stitch so I'm going to pass the working yarn which is my yarn that is attached to the ball of yarn up and over from the front and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my right hand needle back out from underneath the left hand needle but I'm going to bring this working yarn with it. So I'm just the way I, you do that is you just tuck it under. You just rotate it around and tuck it under. I'll show you one more time. Just hopefully you can catch that. So I've got my yarn wrapped around it. And I just tuck it under and bring the yarn with me. So I'll pull it out a little way. And then the next step, this 
this, the stitch that I just worked into on the left needle, I just drop it off the needle and I've knit my first stitch. And that stitch stays on the right hand needle. So I'm going, I'll show you again with another stitch how it's done. So I take my right hand needle, poke it up into the topmost stitch so that the right hand needle is behind the left hand needle. Take my working yarn, wrap it around the front, upwards, over the right hand needle and then I bring the right hand needle out from underneath the left hand needle, taking the working yarn with me. Just like that. And then I drop the stitch that I just worked into. And I have two stitches there. Now you'll pull it, want to pull it tight, but not too tight. If you pull it too tight, then it makes it very hard to uh, knit stitches in your next row. So pull it just so it's snug, work, moves happily around the needle, um, but not so loose that it um, gets difficult to work with. So I will show you one more time slowly. Take my right hand needle, place it underneath the topmost stitch on the left hand needle, poke it through that stitch behind so that it, the right hand needle is behind the left hand needle. Take my working yarn, which is the yarn that is attached to the ball of yarn as opposed to the tail, which is the yarn that was left over from the start of the cast one. That's just a side point. So I take my working yarn and bring it up for, in front of the right hand needle and over it once. I bring the right hand needle back out from underneath the left, bringing the working yarn with me. And then I drop the stitch that I just worked into on the left hand needle. And there, you can see on the right hand needle I've now got three more stitches. So I'm just going to finish this row and then you hopefully can see um, that my knitting will have grown. So I'm on to my last stitch of this row and I knit it just the same as I knit all the others. So I place my needle underneath the stitch, poke it through underneath, then I wrap my working yarn around it, pull it back out with the working yarn still on it, then I just drop it off the left hand needle. And that is a finished row. What happens next is I swap my needles around and I do it again. I start from the beginning. But what I just have shown you there is that one complete row of knitting done. So what you'll see is um, whereas when I started with just a cast on, this was... Um, The, like the height of the knitting was only right up against the needle so it was it was that big now that I've knit one row it's that big and it's just going to grow and grow like that now so that is how to do the knit stitch if you're going if you're going to knit a whole piece of work in knit stitch completely the fabric is then called garter stitch so that is how to do the knit stitch. Um, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to cast off your knitting or bind off if you're in the US. Um, and that is how you finish your knitting. And once you've got the skills of casting on, the knit stitch and casting off, you can make all kinds of projects. Um, and I have several ideas on my blog and I will link them in the description below. Um, and I'm hoping to post several videos of um, garter stitch only 
projects for you um, to get started. And if you're teaching a young one, uh, these projects will be great because they are simple and they can be done really quickly um, so they can get the satisfaction of having made something with their own hands. So stay tuned. Um, if you're interested in seeing those videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Um, like this video if you liked it and please visit me on um, Instagram, Facebook and my blog, knitcatpaddywhack.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.